Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be an introduction to a project pen. You can tell by my excitement on my face. <laughs> I am doing this in collaboration with Jessica from Beauty and Baseball and the Fantastic Ladies group on Instagram. Uh, we, all of us decided to... Um, you know how we were doing the Justice League project pen that's ending soon for those who haven't finished it yet? Um, we decided, well, I think Jessica or Amanda, I can't remember, it's been so long ago, um, but everything will be linked uh, in the description box down below me. This is the Avengers Project Pen. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, just Avengers Project Pen. Um, and the gist of this is, um, this is a six month pro, here I go again, six month project. Uh, it's gonna start, it's gonna go from November 3rd to May 4th. So it's six months again, like the Justice League. It's gonna go um, from whenever Thor comes out to which movie's coming out? Infinity War, sorry. <laughs> to when Infinity War comes out in May. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Let me start all over again and calm myself down and be more eloquent in the way I say things. So this project is a six month project you are supposed to pick a minimum of five characters and each character has a color that belongs to it. Therefore, your item needs to match that color. Now that being said, we were having a discussion on Facebook, the Fantastic Ladies group, and um, Jessica threw it out there that, you know, she said something like, I double dog dare someone to do all of them. And I was like, you know what, Jessica, I'm going to take you on that. So guess what guys, I am doing all 20 categories. <laughs> I figure it's six months long. I'll have time to finish uh, 20 items. Granted, they're not all new, they're not all full size because I mean, give me a break. I'm attempting to do something big here. So I had to give myself a little bit of leeway. But anyway, I have the list here with all the characters and all the items and I'm just going to share with them with you guys. So let's just get started. The first one is Thor my husband funny story when i was coming back from dublin i sat next to a guy that looked exactly like chris hemsworth like i couldn't stop staring at him and i, I took a picture and then i i shared it, i shared it with my friends i was like i'm ta I'm, I'm flying over with uh, chris has chris H i can't even talk chris hemsworth uh he looked very very similar i know it wasn't him anyway first category thor and the color for him of course is red and for that oh i didn't mark it shoot okay i'll mark it right now for that i went with this body spray from victoria's secret in the color uh, the color in the scent total attraction and i will mark this as soon as i'm done i forgot to mark this but i am about a little bit below where that label is from victoria's secret so that is the first category for Thor. The next category is Black Panther, and that is the color black, and I went with packaging. This is the e.l.f. Uh, translucent pressed powder, and as you guys can see, or hopefully you guys can see, this is brand new. It still has a little plastic here, and the little spongy thing has never been used. So this is brand new. I will probably use this up in like two months. Spider-Man is the color royal blue and for that I am going with the Sephora um, waterproof 12 hour wear eye pencil in the color my boyfriend's jeans and as you guys can see there is the royal blue. Um, is it royal blue or navy blue? Yeah royal blue and I I haven't marked it on a piece of paper but this is brand new. I hope, I hope you guys could see uh, it's like the pencil's defective or something because it's the pointed part is way below where the pencil actually starts. So I think I'm gonna have to sharpen it this before even I even start using it. So this is a deluxe size sample, but it is brand new. Captain America is navy blue, and for that I'm kind of stretching this color a little bit, but I am going with this blue right here from this Tarte Flush lip pencil. Um, as you guys can see, that color right there. And this is a lip pencil. This is, I think this is a full size, but there's not much product in here. That's all the product that's there. Um, I'll probably mark it on the cap, but that's kind of like how much I have. And let me give you guys a swatch so you guys can see the color. I'm gonna be attempting to use up a lot of lip products in 2018. So that is the first lip product. There's a ton of lip products in here, so get ready for that, guys. 
Iron Man is also the color red and that is, uh, you know, Tony Stark is my second husband, second to Thor. And for that I went with uh, Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in the color Outlaw. I have worn this before in videos and you guys seem to like it. I actually, actually love it. And that is the color right there, liquid lipstick. I love the formula of Kat Von D's liquid lipstick. So I hope that I can get this done in the next six months. Actually, it's gonna be like four months because I still have my lip palette to work for the next couple months. <laughs> so hopefully I will have time to work through all those. For the Hulk is the color, of course, green. And for that, I am going with this Carmex uh, lip balm. And you're like, Rebecca, that's yellow and green. Well, if you look really closely, where is it? This is the scent strawberry. And the strawberries have like little green, uh, little stems on them. So that counts. <laughs> I can't show you guys how much I have here. I guess I could if I took off the label. But um, because it's still kind of warm here, I, I put it all the way up to see how much I had left. And then I was um, winding it down and the product stayed up. And then I tried pushing it down and I kind of like broke it. So I had to put it in the freezer, let it like solidify a little bit more and then put it back in the tube. So I can't push it up because I won't be able to put it back down, but this is the product. Um, I, I would have to say it's about 75% full. Um, I haven't really used this much, so. Black Widow is the color black as well, and for that one I went with an easy one. I picked a mascara. This is the Lancome Hypnos Drama. I love this mascara. I've used a full size of this before and many, many of this uh, little deluxe size samples. Uh, let me show you guys the wand if you guys want to see it. This is what it looks like. Kind of like a, a little bit curved. Um, I love I love how, how Lancome mascara smell. They have like a very distinct scent. Um, maybe I'm just weird. But um, I am looking forward to using this one because I know that I do love it. So for Hawkeye, he is the color burgundy. And, and that is, and for that I am going with this Maybelline uh, instant, instant H Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the Brightener color. You know, they have like the different colors and then they have the neutralizer, which is more of a yellow tone and then the brightener, which is a little bit of pinky tone. I didn't mark any of these. I'm so sorry. Um, but that is my starting point right here. I will mark this as soon as I'm done filming this video. Falcon is dark gray. And for that, I am going with a full size item. This is the Tarte Skinny Smolderized um, Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. So this guy is completely brand new. This is another one that is brand new, but like the pencil, the product is too short. Like it doesn't stick out of the pencil as it should. So I'm gonna have to sharpen it before I even start using it. And it has a little sponge tip applicator on the bottom to smudge it out if I wanted to make it a little bit smokier. War Machine, he is the color silver. And for that I went with this Benefits uh, What's Up um, little highlighter. And this I have used before. If you guys can see, I've got a little bit of progress there, but this is a cream highlighter, so it's gonna take me some time to work through this. Um, as you guys can see, it's already been rounded on the top. And um, yeah, so I've used a little bit. Um, I will mark it on the cap as well. Vision is the color maroon, and for that I am going with this Clinique uh, lip balm in the color black honey. This is another one, it's completely brand new. I haven't used it, but this is another one. That's all the product that is in here. Um, and it's very, very sheer as well. So you guys won't be able, I mean, I'm doing several swatches and that's the color right there. So this is gonna be very, very easy for me to work through this one, so. For Scarlet Witch, no shocker here. The color is Scarlet and for that I went with this lip balm from I don't know what the brand is but it's in the, in the scent ripe cherry and this is a very very scarlet lip balm this I have a love relationship a love hate relationship with these lip balms uh, I bought a kit at Marshalls with several and they smell like like cardio like cherry but like from a car deodorant like those things to put in your car to make smell nice that's what this one smells like. Uh, but that is the color right there, very, very sheer as well. So if I 
I think if I put it in my pocket or something and just reapply constantly, I think I can get through this one. This one is a full size, so cross our fingers. For winter, for winter, for winter soldier, the color is silver. And for that, I went with this, another lip product. This is the Benefits, the real double the lip. This, I, this came in a kit of four of these little sampler, sampler guys. And again, there's not much product in these little guys. Um, as you guys can see, I haven't used it. And that's all the product that is in here to begin with. So I think this will be going very, very fast. It's one of those that you, you can't tell anymore, but it has like the tip, a darker color than the bottom part to kind of like seem like your lips are lined or whatever. But once you swatch, swatch it or you put it on your lip, uh, that is the color that it shows. Ant-Man is another color red. And for that, I am going with this uh, mini from Sugar from Fresh. This is the Sugar Rosé. And the product itself is red. So this is a lip balm. Usually I go through these about in a month, uh, especially during the colder months. So I don't foresee myself using these uh, anytime soon, maybe till like January, February when the, when it's really, really cold here. Um, and that way I can use them, um, as my lip balm treatment before I go to bed. So that is this one for Star Lord. That is the color maroon. And for that, I am going with this young blood minerals, mineral cosmetics. And ooh, this was in the products I want to use up in 2017. And as you guys can see, I already used up these two. This was like a white clear lip gloss with um, glitter. And then this one was a pinky color. And then this one is more of a maroon color. As you guys can see, I already have a dip in it. And I will kind of swatch it for you guys. Um, it doesn't really have that much color payoff, as you guys can see. Very sheer and very shiny and glittery. So. Um, yeah, that's gonna be Star Lord uh, Maroon. For Gamora, she is the color green, and I am using the last nail appliques that I have. These are from uh, Ink Coco. This is the Coconut Nail Art. And as you guys can see, the lettering in the packaging has green, and those are the nail appliques right there. This is the last uh, set of nail appliques that I have. I got these in a Walmart beauty box back when I used to subscribe to that. Um, so I'm over nail appliques. I'm glad that these are the last ones that I have. I can't wait to use them. This will be an easy product to get through. Groot, a little Groot or big Groot, doesn't matter. Uh, he is the color tan and for that I'm going with a face powder. I am going to attempt to finish this color right here, this tan color in my BH Cosmetics uh, contour and blush number two. So it's this color right here. Um, this is basically like my skin color. That's a heavy swatch right there. But you know, once I blend it out, it kind of like blends out to nothing. So I'm hoping to use that as my face powder, maybe to set under my eyes from that um, concealer, who knows. But hopefully my goal is to finish this up completely and I'm pretty sure that I can. Rocket Raccoon is a color brown and for that I went with an eyeliner. This is the Lorac uh, Front of the Line Pro um, in the color Antique Gold. Um, these are very deceiving because um, if you guys saw my Justice League project pan, I had the teal um, liner and it was basically a black eyeliner with teal shimmer in it. And that's the same thing with here. This does look gold, but once you look at the pencil itself, that's the pencil and then that's the color. Now, does that look like that? Does this look like this? Not at all. So brown eyeliner with like, maybe if you wanna get technical gold shimmer in it, that's why it's called anti-gold maybe, but I don't know. This um, is a full size item as well, so I'm hoping to be able to finish it completely. Drax is the color gray, and for that I'm going for, the, for another full sized item and another lip product. This is uh, a, an Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the color Naked. And I picked J Naked because it's such an easy color to wear, it's such an easy color to pan. Uh, it's this color right here. I can just apply it and reapply it without using a mirror really. Um, and I think it can go with maybe the other 
one of the other glosses if I want to make it a little shinier so and lastly is Mantis and she's also the color green and for that one I had to like really like stretch it <laughs> because uh, I went with this little mini uh, professional now this you guys are probably thinking Rebecca that's not green that's teal but teal color that is a combination of blue and green so technically you had to get green to get this color so I'm counting it as part of the group <laughs> uh, this is just a deluxe size sample it'll take me no time to use it up and I like the professional I've used many many samples of these before and I've actually gone through a full size um, so I know that I like it so that is for the color for the character mantis so ah, there you go guys those are my 20 items for my Avengers project pan uh, this by the time this video goes up, you guys, I will, I will have already seen the movie. I am going tomorrow to an early showing on Thursday before it like actually premieres on Friday. So I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys are MCU people because I am. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys participate. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys are. Make sure you check everybody down in the description box and you check out their channels to see what items they picked for their project. So I will see you guys in a few days with another video and I'm just rambling. Bye.